Hi, I'm Jeff Patterson from Home Repair Theater, and today's video is going to show you how to replace the water supply lines for both your toilet and your sink using the Fluid Master Click Seal water supply line connector. So for toilets, obviously the water supply line is right here, and there are two points where they leak. Here's point number one. It's the connection between the water supply line and the shutoff valve. And here's the second place where it leaks, where it connects to the fill valve of the toilet. Now, believe it or not, these water supply lines should be switched out every 10 years because they do go bad. And I highly recommend that you stick with steel braided water supply lines because of their strength and durability. The first thing you need to do is to turn the water off at the water supply line. And it doesn't hurt to get a container and put it directly underneath where the fill valve is located. Typically toilet supply lines are only hand tight up against the fill valve of the toilet tank. So if that's the case, you'll be able to turn this clockwise if you're looking down from the toilet tank. So in this case, it is just hand tight and we'll turn it in that clockwise fashion. Now you can also use a set of pliers or channel locks if this is not hand tight. Then you can empty any water from the water supply line down into the container. Then use pliers or a crescent wrench to remove the old supply line from the shutoff valve. Best thing to do is to take the old water supply line with you to the home store. This is the new water supply line we're going to be using. It's steel braided and I highly recommend those because they're more durable than the other types. There are four things to look for on the tag when you go to your home store. Number one, if you want to use this connector, just look for click seal toilet water connector. The connection on top that fits against the fill valve is 7 eighths of an inch. This is 16 inches long, so just make sure you get the right length. And then finally, you need to know the compression fitting size that connects up with your shutoff valve. So this is 3 eighths of an inch at this connection point that goes with our shutoff valve. The connection that goes up against your fill valve works just like a gas cap. So you're going to twist it on, you'll hear the click, and you'll know that it's sealed properly. So there's no guessing. We're going to attach the click seal water supply line at the shutoff valve first. So just thread it on by hand. and then tighten it until it's nice and snug. But it doesn't have to be too tight. That's about good. And then for this part, we don't need any tools. In fact, you just want to hand tighten this. You don't need any type of wrench whatsoever. So we're gonna tighten it until we hear the click. And that's how we know that it's tight enough. And then all you need to do is turn the water back on at the shutoff valve. <laughs> And then finally, you just want to check and see if there are any leaks at this point and down at the shutoff valve, and they're not. So we're good to go. If you're not sure what size fitting you have between the shutoff valve and one of these water supply lines, there's a kit that you can get. This is called the Universal Click Seal Toilet Connector Kit. It comes with three different fittings, one, two, three, that fit into this part of the water supply line. The gold fitting is 3 eighths, the black fitting is 7 16 and the silver fitting is half inch. These fittings are really easy to use. You just need to determine which one you need for your shutoff valve. So for example, if your shutoff is half inch, you take the silver adapter, and you thread it into the metal nut of your water supply line. Now the cool thing is you can get the same universal click seal kit for water faucet supply lines. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna be searching for those at the store. For water faucet supply lines, it does help to have certain tools. So this is a basin wrench. Basically, if you've never used one of these before, it can reach up underneath the, the sink here and it can grab onto the existing water faucet supply line that's connected to the faucet. So I'll show you how to do that. Start this by turning off the water supply at the shutoff. So again, these water supply lines should be replaced every 10 years and where they leak most is right here at this connection or at the connection with the shutoff valve or up at this connection right here between the faucet and the supply line. I find it helpful to slide the basin wrench up along the existing supply line and put it right on top of the nut. And then you can turn it counterclockwise to loosen the nut that's up against the bottom of the faucet. And then remove the rest of the nut by hand. It's really easy to do this once you get the hang of it, but sometimes it takes a little while. So again, just use a crescent wrench 
to loosen this nut that's connected to the shutoff valve. Anytime you see rust or corrosion on these supply lines, that's a sure sign that you should replace these. So this is a 16 inch steel braided water supply line for the faucet. And fortunately, this tag tells us what size fittings we need for our new supply line. This is the new Click Seal water supply line. And before I forget, you don't need any tools to attach this to either the shutoff valve or the faucet, so no tools necessary. Okay, so we're just gonna tighten this onto the shutoff valve by hand. This part will not make the clicking sound. So you're just tightening this until it won't go any further by hand, but you don't need any tools. Okay, that's all the further it will go. Now we'll do the faucet connection, and you will hear the clicking sound once it's tight enough. So there you go, that was the click. Okay, now you just need to turn the water on and check your connections. So no leak there, and no leak here. So we're good to go. If you're replacing water supply lines in your bathroom, and whether it's for a toilet or a faucet, definitely check out Fluid Master's Click Seal connectors.